Right then guys, welcome back. Nick Reeves and you're watching part two of the Ben Buckle Novice build series of videos. Um, I'll put a link to the previous one up here. Um, these models came part built to me, which I explained in the previous video. Since then, what I've done is I've given them all a good sanding down, a filling where they needed to, shaping up, getting them nice really. Um, the wings didn't need much done at all, it's mainly the tips. The, um, I seem to remember a couple of these models that I've heard about, the, the tip block that comes with it is a bit undersized. So it has to be packed out and I think what my dad's done is packed out the angled face. Um, whereas previously what I did I think was I packed out the horizontal face and then carved it to shape. But anyway, doesn't matter. Um, so the wings are nice and finished now. I've added, again let's see if you can see. I did apply reinforcing plate here. This is just for the elastic band so it doesn't crush the training edge. Both wings are exactly the same. Uh, exactly the same stage. Um, fuselages are, again, all sanded down nicely. What we've got just now is the front ends been shaped just a little bit more. There's a notch there for the needle valve. I've taken a bit more of the material out the inside to clear for the fuel tubing. Uh, again, I don't know if you'll be able to see, there's two holes on one side and a single hole on the other side. One's for the feed and two for vents for the tank. And I've also cut the hatch away. So, now the next stage, and I wanted to get to this stage on both the airframes, is to apply sanding sealer. Get another light rubbing down. Um, sanding sealer seals up the pores in the wood makes it a really nice hard surface to sand so you get a really nice smooth finish. So I'll be doing that on the fuselages and the wings. Um, I haven't forgotten about the tail planes fins, I'll be doing that later on. I, want to, I don't like wasting paintbrushes and sanding sealer. You can thin them out and clean the paintbrushes but they're never the same. I just use cheap disposal brushes. If I can do a lot in one hit um, I'll try and get as much done as I can. So I've got two fuselages, two hatches, two wings to apply a sanding sealer to. Um, it dries pretty quick, so by the time I've finished the the first part of the first the first side of the first model, I can then put it to the side, do the same on the next one, start on the wings, do the other wing, the same place, and by the time I've done that, I'll come back to the first fuselage again and do another section. It would be touch dry enough for them to, to do that. Um, as I said, it's all pretty quick drying, and it does give it a really nice finish as well. Um, the other thing I've done as well, and if you're building more than one model, identify them. Again, I don't know if you're going to see, I've got an E and an N on them. Um, done the same on the fuselage, done the same on the wing, so we know which fuselage goes with which wing, um, so on and so forth. There are little differences. The wings should fit on both. But the hatches certainly won't fit on both. So I shall crack on with that just now, get some sanding sealer on. And then we have to let that dry overnight. And then come back to it again tomorrow or the next time. Um, give it a light rubbing down. And then we'll be very close to covering. The one thing to do before covering on these particular models, because they're going to have diesel engines in them, um, and you should do it with any internal combustion engine is fuel proofing. Now fuel proofing on these models, diesel engines, they put out a lot of rubbish out of the exhaust. Most people tend to fuel proof the engine bay and the tank bay. What I'm going to be doing is engine bay inside, tank bay inside, and on the outside of the model all the way back to here. Because again past experience of diesel engines the oil gets in everywhere. So to make the model last as long as possible, for the sake of 10 minutes of fuel proofing, just apply some fuel proofer to it and uh, it'll last longer. Fuel won't soak into it. So I shall crack on with that. We'll come back to you once it's done. Right, 
so that's all of the airframe airframes um got one coat of sanding sealer um fuse lodges both sides top bottoms wings top surface bottom surface tips all had one coat um one is your nose let it dry overnight um i must say i've got quite a good headache just now this stuff sanding sealer um if you don't know what it is i'll put a link at the bottom um to the stuff i'm using it's uh it's good stuff but normally the good stuff well the stuff that smells good is pretty bad for you i've actually behind the camera got the garage door wide open um and it's probably still not enough ventilation um so now as i'll leave that to dry uh, the next stage will be using a very fine pad i need to actually find out this is a from body shop or something like that it's actually a metal mesh um, but it's great for fine detail stuff normally you find with um balsa it feels kind of furry um even when you're sanding it it feels really furry now what i'm doing is i'm actually using the sanding sealer to toughen up the surface to make the, that fur really hard and i'm using this paper for want of a better word this pad to actually just take those fur stiff fur whatever off and make it a really smooth surface it does a great job on balsa without the sanding sealer um, but with the sanding sealer as well it makes it almost like a you could possibly i've not done it before but probably with a couple of coats of sanding sealer and sanding in between you could possibly polish up a piece of balsa um, i've seen it done with dope before no, uh, cellulose dope sanded on sanded back another coat sanded on Put on, not sanded on, put on, sanded back, put on, sanded back, and just keep on getting it finer and finer and finer. And you get a really nice finish. I'm not looking for that, I'm just looking for like a nice finish to put the covering on with. But I need to find out where to get these pads from again, because this one's actually given to me. And I don't, I don't know where I can get them from. It says P500 on it, so maybe that's the grade, 500 grade? I don't know. But what I'll probably do is when I need more, when I remember, I'll go down to my local body shop suppliers down the road. Take this with me and say, can I get some of these, please? And see what they say. But anyway, that's for when the sanding seal is all dry. Um, and that will probably be the next part of the video. Um, I need to go and sit down, get a cup of tea or something, because my head is absolutely thumping. And I'll uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching the video. Give us a thumbs up if you like what I've just shown you. Click on my face down here, you can subscribe, remember to tick the bell so you get notifications as to when new videos are put up. And down this side, there will probably be some videos that you might also like to watch. Catch you next time.